Hello everybody, Jeremy is back again with the promised Lupin Ranger, Pat Ranger unboxing that I promised in my last uh, Loot Crate unboxing video. Um, quick update, yes, boom, look at that, my arm is nice and healed. Still got this thing on my leg, but that's okay. We are getting there where I need to personally. Um, but enough of all that foolishness, let's talk about our item for today. Uh, if you've been watching Lupin Ranger, Pat Ranger, you know there's two teams of three that each have a uh, use good striker to form their mecha. So, you know, four piece mechas, as you can see right here, is the uh, Lupin Ranger one. I only brought that one today because that's the one we're going to need. That's the one this piece goes to. Um, so, there's some auxiliary mecha that switch out the arms. We're, they always switch out the girl arm for whatever reason, doesn't matter which team you're using. That's a different story. But, so what we have here is the blade and scissors combination. This uh, mecha is kind of interesting because obviously it's two in one that form sort of a sword and shield for the mecha. Um, and there's actually civilian sized versions of it that, uh, um, that, that the Red Ranger uses as a sword and shield as well. Um, and actually before I do that I forgot one thing. I forgot to bring the actual changer with me. To get the sounds for it, so I'm gonna go grab that real quickly. As I've always said with this thing, I do not edit, I do this all on the fly. Because if I was a more together person, I would have already had this with me, but I'm not, and I didn't, but I have it now as necessary, of course. We'll need that in a minute. Um, so anyway, the an interesting thing uh, along with this is that they're currently running a campaign where if you buy any of the VS vehicles, um, any of the mecha whatsoever, during the this last week or so, um, there's also a bonus item. This is the hammer. Um, hammer VS vehicle. Okay, so if you watched episode 11 of Lupin Ranger, Pat Ranger, it was very strange where there was a monster that could sort of like gender swap characters. So he gender swapped all the Pat Rangers and then he somehow managed to gender swap this. And apparently if you, you have a black, uh, you know, sword and shield it somehow turns it into a hammer. I don't, an orange hammer, I don't, I don't know. I'm not even gonna pretend to know. Anyway, it's an extra vehicle that you either have to buy online now, you know, secondary market, or you were able to get it with this release. I was lucky enough to get this uh, when I bought this at CS Toys International. That's a little plug there for you. Um, so we're gonna open up both of these and check them out. First, we'll start with the actual main mecha. As always, you know, the box shows them off. They're, they're kind of doing like a little reverse flap thing to me, because I always feel like if there's a little flap on a box, it should be in the back. But obviously for this whole series, it's been the other way around. Um, here you can see it being used as the mecha and on the changer. Here's just the stats for the vehicle. And then over here again it just shows all the different swapping out abilities of this sort of uh, of this series. So there we go. I'm gonna pop this bad boy open. La -dee, la -da, la -dee, la -da. Get our instructions. I'm gonna check, take a quick look at them first. I don't think we really need them that much. I think this one's pretty self-explanatory. But just in case. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. We'll just uh, double check. Um, oh, they both can, both the sword the, can be put on it. I wonder if they make different sounds if they're together or if they're apart, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Anyway. So this mecha does actually put the uh, Lupin Rangers one mecha ahead of the Pat Rangers. Uh, let's see, okay. That comes off simple enough. And then... I believe at the attack mode, let's see. Hmm, kind of thought they'd do it by itself. Okay, so you fold the blade back. Is 
thought they folded forward too. Let me see. Maybe that's the part I'm missing. Um, oh. Oh, that's okay. I forced it. Shouldn't have forced it. But yeah, then it comes forward. Kind of makes a little cutting dealy. This is the scissors part of the blade and scissors. Um, and then this is kind of by itself as the sword. Oh, see? Folds up like this and kind of like a plane mode with as wings. And then it folds up like this so it's in sword mode. Let's try out some sounds with it first. Blade. so tiny it's kind of weird on there like that um now do they do anything if they're together does it change anything No, it doesn't. But there is a blade and a scissors have their own unique sound, so that again makes this kind of a two-in-one deal. Um, let's see, as far as putting him on the mecha, let's take another look, see, a quickly. So take this off. Um, so you put this as an actual sword in his hand. He actually does have a little hand. Um, oh, they want it flipped according to the box. They like it like this. And then you take off Yellow's arm. Poor, poor Yellow. And... Let me see. Hmm. Let me see how this how they want this. <laughs> Sorry guys, I need to just look at this for a hot second. Okay, let me see. So I got it like this. I put the blades up, I think. Mm. I don't know. How did it pop off? I need, I, oh, there, duh, I did just need to pull that. Dur, I, I'm very smart, guys. I don't know if you knew that or not. I'm a very smart human being. Um, let's see. I think it wants it turned some way. Because the paper is not, oh, oh, duh. Boy, I'm just killing it today. Okay, and then this turns like this. And then bam. Boy, that was more difficult than I thought it was. So it is an extra arm like that. Kind of looks like a fist. Not 100% down with it, but it connects like this. And so it's in sword and shield mode. Um, my initial impressions is that the, the problem there is always like bulk wise. It makes this arm look so much smaller than this one. It's kind of off. It's one of those things where it looks really good if you're looking at it from the exact right angle, like this. This way, it looks really good. But if you look at it from the sides or the top down or whatever, it gets a little more suspect. But there's that. 
Anyway, so we will set that aside and then we will bust out our special campaign item, the hammer. Mm, let's see what's the best way to slice it like this. Bam. Okay. Aha. Okay, has its own little instructions. Very simple, but I keep telling you that everything's very simple, so I'm not even sure anymore. And another card. Um, I remember before I told you about the card, there was a special card that came with uh, the first version of the uh, mecha, the main mecha, uh, the good striker, or really the, the actual full combined, one of the two versions of the full combined robo. And this one has, a, has one of its own, and it's of the mecha, but he is with the hammer. Again, I don't play the game. I don't really have any use for these cards, but I do think they're cool images, nice little collectible, and hey, it's a bonus, right? Okay, so this is the hammer. It's a very, very light mecha, easily the lightest we've had. If I, I can see why it's supposed to basically replace the uh, the sword, not necessarily the whole combo, just the sword part, not the shield. Um, I love the, the gold dial. The gold dial is very nice, a uh, nice little fun addition. Um, let me see if it actually does, like, okay, yeah, you can actually fully connect it to the shield part. So that's, that's cool. That's a nice little bonus. Um, and then it's, it's actual main form is like this. You just fold the two sides out. So it's also a plane. Um, and we'll try that out with this. Dong, maybe like a hammer noise. Cartoonish one. Okay, so it kind of said hammer and kind of like a, a bit of a sinister voice actually. But so there's that and then you just you put, the, put the pieces back together like I said before. Very, very simple. And then you can just take that out put that in and bam you got a hammer instead of a shield um like i said it was just very shortly used in the episode it was you know for part of the uh monsters little tricks i think it was just to show off the promotional item to get people to buy it i don't know if it's necessarily going to show up again they in the recent seasons they have been having little promotional mecha that only really show up in movies or in like one episode. So they're not really a big deal. So it's not something you necessarily have to have. I think it's just a fun, cool little bonus. I like that it's a unique item. Let me see if it actually, it actually makes me think. Okay, so mold wise, you definitely can see the similarities. Um, the same cockpit, the same sort of little uh, line designs along the side. Same little wings in the back, very, very similar. And then obviously remolded on the top and the grooves are different so it can make different sounds. But you can see, you know, that it really is the same basic form that they added onto. But I think they added enough onto it to make it a really unique, fun thing. So I'm, kind of, I'm down with that, I'm digging that. Um, I think it's a fun little addition. Uh, again, I've seen pictures of the big final combo mecha, or at least the next combo mecha. So there's a lot of interesting stuff coming from Loop and Pat. I'll just call it Loop and Pat, or Loop Pat, because, um, whatever, I'm dumb. I come up with stupid crap. But I thought it was very fun, and I am excited to see what else is coming up. The Six Rangers should be showing up sooner than later. So while there's no new mecha uh, unboxings scheduled for the next month or so, there'll definitely be some stuff coming up when the Six Rangers shows up and there's more arm attachments. But until then, that is all I have for you guys as far as uh, Sentai unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you check out my Loot Crate unboxings. Um, as always, you know, I am Jeremy. Um, I almost started the final part without saying the dumb spiel first. The, the, the. I'm really good at talking today. Anyway, guys, please, as always, like this video if you like it. Comment, uh, subscribe, 
Uh, share this video with your friends and your family. Ring the bell to be notified of new upcoming videos. Didn't say all that in the same order I normally say it in, but I don't really care because it's just a dumb spiel at the end of the video that people are already done watching. I am Jeremy, a.k.a. Captain Subpar, saying to you that forever and always I am going to be King of the Geeks. And he grabs his medicine bag like a sad man. He stands up and he hobbles over. A hobble, a hobble, a hobble. Blah, blah, blah. See, I'll show you a little, little closer. See? You can see that it's the same, like, here we go. Same basic design, but just little differences. You know, like how the blades are, make the hammer now. And it's, it's cool. It's actually more inventive than a lot of the stuff they do, they've done as of late. So I dig it.